So uh, we're about to go down this rather treacherous hill on a quad, but man with two legs and dog with four shall certainly conquer it. And as you can see, there's Leaks Creek. Uh, it's tides going out, I think, so not much water left in there, but a few boats sitting on the sand. Not too sure where I'm going to set up camp tonight, but probably somewhere in there. Good supply of food and and goat, in case I get hungry. But, uh, I've only been on the island for about 45 minutes and it's pretty awesome here being with Mother Nature and I can tell you what, there's more benefits to being healthy and fit than just looking after your body because I tell you what, being able to do this type of stuff whenever you want is a pretty cool feeling and it's a good thing getting out in Mother Nature, there's certainly plenty of areas in our region that you can go and explore it at free will and I'm and uh, very shortly we're going to go past the homestead, we've gone past the major resort leases, uh, not much to see there anyway, Mother Nature's kind of taken over, but and again the resort is quite old, it's gone through a lot of uh, changing hands and a lot of the previous tenants, you know, including TAA which is formerly, uh, which was ANSET, um, left a lot of issues here for the next landlord to clean up and unfortunately no one did the right thing by anyone, so not to mention the age of the resort, how old it was, the um, list of list of complaints far outgrew the um, list of people making bookings and as much as some people don't like to acknowledge this, but the bottom line is rather important when you're running a business and if it's not financially viable then you don't really have much option but to shut it down. You take into the account the, um, the cost of diesel through the GFC, went through the roof, tourism went down, uh, if you owned a tourism operation during the GFC I think you suffered quite a bit and uh, Tower Holdings did what they could to keep the resort open for as long as they did, but it just wasn't financially viable and think about the technology was being used in a resort in 2008 was some of the diesel generators and the diesel plant and the wiring was some 20, 30 years old so that technology wasn't very environmentally friendly and uh, I dare say the maintenance costs would have been through the roof so it's understandable they did like what they could with the resort and uh, I know if anyone else was in their shoes they would have shut it down and looked back and said well what can we do with it now so only time will tell with one more chance with plan 3 coming out soon so Hopefully it'll be a benefit to everyone in our region and not just the vocal minority. So anyway, homestead coming up.